Well, we saw each other at the Roundup in Bell at the Grand Triodium, but we didn't talk to each other because he was too afraid to talk to me. So we matched on Tinder and then we didn't talk for like, oh, I don't know, a month. And we finally started talking in August and then went pretty fast from there, I guess. In my defense, she had a kid with her, so I thought she was mom. <laughs> I didn't need a mom at that point <laughs> in my life. I've been coming up here a lot during the summers, helping a good family friend his ranch, and we had been trading horses. So I was normally during the summer up up here, probably four months out of the year in South Dakota. In all those years, I never met him. So I think timing was really important. Like, I don't think either of us were ready until we actually met. Either way, it was on Tinder, but like it was it was the time that we were actually supposed to meet. Yeah. Or else we would have met probably three years earlier. And everything just sort of sort of felt right. And... To be honest, his pickup line was terrible on Tinder. It was Tinder, so. Uh, so I thought he was just some big Texas kid that was full of it. And, and then we finally met, he was actually a pretty big sweetheart. <laughs> Don't know how that happened, but he is. We talked for a while and I just sort of came to thinking that she was you could be the one. When did you know we were going to get married? Like, when did you when did you know you were going to ask me? Or did you always know? I don't know. It was always in the back of my mind, and, and it just came to feel like the right time. I knew he was going to ask, and I was going to say yes. It was just a matter of when. It was pretty special. <laughs> uh, we no. was running, running late, and I was going to propose to her when I got home. I got home, and she told me to go downstairs and change. This is a Wednesday, by the way. Random Wednesday, we had an appointment. <laughs> I had brought her home some food and I actually had the ring in the bag with the food. So she told me to go downstairs and I was trying to stay upstairs. That way when she opened the bag and she was pretty insistent on me going downstairs at the moment. And then she hollered at me to come back upstairs. And yeah, that was sort of that. He never asked, actually, if we're gonna be honest. He never even said, will you marry me? Didn't get down on one knee. Anything. Well, I was in trouble, told to go downstairs. Marry a cowboy, they said. It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> I think I always knew. I mean, we had talked about it, and then about a year into it, when he moved to South Dakota, I knew it was pretty serious because he was moving halfway across the country for me, so I knew from then on I was going to say yes. I think I'm excited for our next chapter, see what life has in store for us. And... So you're excited for, for the wedding? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's going to be a party, but... Yeah, that's what you want. 